What's up guys? Alright, so Swissa told me to make a tutorial on this. Um because she's lazy. Uh so basically this is how to make easy fur. Uh Arcade was the one that basically taught me. Or also known as Echo. So basically the way that I do it personally, um, so I, I wanted to add fur to the very ends of this dress for a model I'm working on and what I had to do is uh, I went into edit mode by clicking on the object and hitting tab and then using shift alt to select a row on where you want to add the fur and then I went up here and I click select lasso or you can press W to switch between them, which I find much easier. And I deselect the ones that I won't be needing. Um, it just depends on where you need it. Um, to deselect, like how you saw right there, I held control and then dragged my mouse to deselect it. So after that, you're going to hit shift D, click your left mouse button, and then press P straight after and click selection. So now that you have that, you're going to hit tab, click on the dress, and hide it. Afterwards, you're going to grab on the outline that you made of whatever you want to add uh, for two, and you're going to find this... Uh, these little uh, three dots with lines connecting to them. This is the uh, the particle properties, and you're gonna add a particle property. Afterwards, you're gonna go to hair, and then you can hide it for now. Next, you're gonna go to add, and you're gonna click mesh, and click plane. Now that you have a plane, you're going to go back into edit mode by hitting tab, deselect off of it by clicking off the plane, and then press K on your keyboard, and go to the point, and then click on the point adjacent to that, and press enter. Then, while, while on face select, you're going to click one of the sides and delete the face. So once you have that, you're going to unhide what you're adding for two and you're gonna click on you're gonna open render render should be closed you're gonna open that and you're gonna click render as and set it to object then under object instance object should be set to the plane now it's gonna look weird don't worry about it we'll fix that in a second so after you do that you're gonna click, you're gonna find children. It's probably gonna be closed, so you're gonna open that up and you're gonna set it to interpolated. And then you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see length and you're gonna shorten that down a bit. Uh, for reference, just like uh, turn on whatever you're adding fur to. So as you see, it's like a slightly a bit too big. So I'm gonna size it down a bit more. Afterwards, you're going to, uh, depending on how optimized you want it, you might want to come up here to emission and number and turn down the amount. Um, 700 is probably good for me right now. So then you're going to click on advanced and you're going to scroll down until you see physics. You're going to open that, go to brownian and turn that up a bit. That's just to make it more sporadic, look like fur, you know, make it look cute. So after you have all that done and you have uh, this uh, finished and looking how you want it to, you can always mess around with these settings depending on what you want. This is just what I need for my my model. You're going to click on this uh, this wrench and you're going to click 
make instance real. Now it's going to lag for me a little bit because I am on a laptop. Oh, my bad. I wasn't selected on it. Okay, so now that you have it like that, don't be scared about all these planes. You're going to keep them selected. And while holding control, you're going to click the top most one and control J or you can right click and press join. Okay, so now that you've joined everything, don't be scared about it exploding. It's going to look a little goofy. Um, you're going to select the giant ball that was formed. You're going to delete it and then whatever else was created, you're going to delete that and you should be left with your fur. And now what you can do is just click on it and can and click on the object that you want to attach it to using shift and clicking on it and then control J. And if this happens, what you have to do is you have to click on this object before you join it and add a new material. Name it whatever you want. You could be fur, fluff, and then you want to join it afterwards. And there you go. Now that's left to do is weight paint, and that'll be another video. So I don't know when I'll work on that, but this is just to make fur. So good luck, everybody.